Welcome back to another edition of Gus's Corner here. <laughs> September the 10th, 2016. That's right. Yeah. All right. First thing up, folks is always asking me whether I'm going to do political humor. <laughs> so what's the answer? Well, I do not do political humor. But I do comment on politicians. <laughs> and it's equal access. We're going to get them all. <laughs> so if I offend your favorite candidate, too bad. So what do you got today? Well, we're going to start off with Britney Spears. Remember her? All right, well, anyways, uh, Britney Spears is promoting her new album coming out soon. Might be out now. It's all right. Yeah, it's called Glory. Yeah. So she went on car pull with James Corden. You seen that thing? I have. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, but apparently she was accused of lip syncing on there. So what happened? Oh, well, when asked her a comment, she said, I think I did it again. Well, a charter airline pilot up there in northern Michigan was called out by his co-pilot. For what? Oh, he said he was too drunk to serve duty. Blood alcohol said he had a point three, nearly four times the legal limit for driving. Tip off Kane when he started singing from Britney Spears' latest album. Surely you can't be serious. I am, and stop calling me Shirley. Well, drug company Mylon jacked up the price of EpiPens. I heard that, yeah. 400%. In an interview, the CEO said, look, no one's more frustrated than me. Really? Let's think about that for just one minute. That's not funny, that's disgusting. Well, Uber earnings are out. They lost $1.2 billion in the first half of this year. $1.2 billion, yeah. That's enough to buy a new Toyota for every illegal alien in this country. Taxi! Over there in Norway, they had a real incident over there. What happened? Death toll is now up to 323 reindeer, killed by a single lightning strike. Guess who's not getting anything for Christmas this year? That's right, the CEO of Mylon. Scientists were surprised to see that many reindeer gathered in such close proximity. Turns out they were protesting new working conditions at the North Pole. North Pole released a statement saying they were not overly concerned. He'll just use Uber. NFL commissioner said that's what you get for sitting down during the national anthem. Well, the folks at SETI, you know, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence? Yeah, well, they detected a signal last week. Just a one-time signal. They were hoping it would repeat, but it never did. They only got one shot. Yeah, yeah. That's definite proof that there is woman in the outer space there. Why is that? Yeah, well, I gotta repeat myself. Well, a jury found DuPont guilty of dumping Teflon into a river. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and the Clintons are not happy. What? Yeah, it turns out they've been bathing in that river for years. Nothing sticks. Move along, nothing to see here. We well, you know folks have been saying for years, this candidate or that candidate, if they win, I'm leaving the country. Well, the latest one is Amy Schumer. She's a comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, if Donald wins, she's moving to Spain. Yeah. Yeah, the folks at the Donald Trump campaign said, thanks, Amy. We needed something to boost our ratings in the polls. Actually, it turns out nobody cares. Well, seafood inspectors were making the rounds all over the world. They are testing seafood to see whether it matched the label on the package. What'd they find? They found that one in five samples was not what it said on the package. Wow, it seems high. Yeah. Turns out that Charlie Tuna is actually Charlene. Well, that does it for another session of the Gushers Corner. Hope you guys stick around for the last little bit here. What? Hang on. What? Wait for it. Here it comes. What are you doing? Just wait for it. What are you doing? Just hang on. Say goodbye, guys. We're out of here. <laughs>